It is opening day at PNC Park. Andrew McCutcheon has called for a blackout. Our guy Austin Bechtold has been calling for a blackout now for weeks. And I've been saying this. That needs to just be our thing. Yeah, every, every game. Every game. You're going to a Pirates game, wear black. Now, it's more that way now than it used to be. Man, growing up, and when PNC Park first opened... If you'll see highlights like Brian Giles jumping over the fence and robbing uh, the home run from Phillips against the Indians, you'll see 40,000 people there, and it it looks like a rainbow. Mm -hmm. Like people wearing red, people wearing green, people gray, gray. Like it just, and that was part of the times, but also just, are you buying a bunch of pirate gear? When you know guys get moved, like they they did the Kendall contract and all that. Well, now you can buy gear because you got Henry Davis for the next six years. You got O'Neill Cruz. He's nowhere near arbitration. You got David Bednar for the next few years. You've signed Brian Reynolds. You've signed Key Brian Hayes. Let's Paul, make it our Paul thing. Skeens. Paul Skeens is going to be here for six or seven years, probably seven. So, yes, you could buy the stuff. That's why I said before the season that – if they get off to a good start, and then after they did get off to a good start, it feels different to me because it's not the quote-unquote hodgepodge of nothingness. It's young, talented players that should all be here to stay. Mitch Keller, I was critical of him yesterday, but he deserved the contract when he got it, and he's going to be around now because they did pay to keep him around. So I know Kutch says opening day, blackout, and it's fun, and we're going to do it. It should be that way every day, Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. Like, make PNC Park great again. You know what I mean? Like, make it a tough place to play. When you see these young teams, go back and look at what the Orioles did two years ago. Like, when they were fighting, they got off to a really good start, then they kind of collapsed like the 11-12 Pirates. Young teams, the first sign of the turnaround, they're winning games at home. Yep. So let's do our part in that, and let's make it a cool thing that when quick pitch is on and you see games at PNC Park, you got Jolly Rogers flying everywhere and everyone's wearing black. Do you think that baseball players feel like it's it's tough at times maybe to play here? Like, I mean, outside of the, the you know, the Cueto uh, situation, but, like, whenever – you know how we always talk about when you come through the tunnels and you see Heinz Field, and I told you the stories about players, and, you know, whenever you get to go to Pittsburgh the first time, you're kind of like, where is Pittsburgh? Where is the stadium? And all of a sudden it pops up. You're like, oh, man, that's Heinz Field. Well, there was a guy from Toronto last year. Uh, it was the Blue Jays they opened with at home last year, right? Yes. Who said like, that was a tough place to play. Right. And the people who were there for 13, 14, and 15 said it was as loud of a ballpark as they've ever been to. I mean, I went to the AFC Championship between the, the Steelers – and who was it in 08? The Ravens in the Ryan Clark knockout game. Mm-hmm. A lot of good things happened in that game. The Paul Amalo pick six. That was the loudest stadium I had ever been in, in until 2013. Now, that was a bloodletting, and you're letting off a lot of steam. It's the first ever pirate team that you could really wrap your arms around and say, man, they could be special. But it can it can be like that yeah. more. 